certain my dear friends yesterday we already discussed about the case study of uh, pick and place robot i have already explained to you the process of uh, establishing a new mechatronic system for modifying the existing system for the better purpose or better improvement in order to provide the system or in order to make the system more efficient one today i am going to discuss one more case study where we are going to design uh, automatic bottle filling or container filling station now the requirement is very simple keep it in mind the requirement is like this the empty bottles are coming and those empty bottles we are supposed to fill it by the desired liquid and once the filling is completed bottle will be moved forward now in most of the food processing industries this bottle filling or container filling is a continuous process and two major types of this particular filling system is there the one is called as a rotary type and other one is called as a linear type both these things has its own advantages and disadvantages the rotary requires very little space but it is bit costly and complicated whereas the linear or conveyor system type requires a more space less costly and is very simple in a concept and easy to establish now out of this two we are supposed to select a one after applying a different points which we have discussed earlier after understanding the requirement of the process or how we are going to use that particular system the purpose of that particular system after discussing the different ideas and then considering the different constraints which may be a space which may be a finance which may be a costing which may be a maintenance and then we have zeroed down to one concept and that concept i am going to develop it and the first stage in that particular development is is drawing or making a simple sketch now as i already told you there are two ways of this particular system one is a rotary type and other one is that of a online or linear conveyor type out of that considering the constraints the cost the complexity of that particular system the maintenance which will be required for that particular system i have decided to go for a linear online conveyor system this system has got one more advantage which i would like to discuss it afterward so after a brainstorming i have come to the conclusion that the best thing for this particular system is a simple online bottle filling or container filling system same i have decided and same i have developed just come on here so that i will be able to show you the different components and same i would like to explain to you and i have already told you the reason for which i have selected this particular thing considering the constraint is costing and the ease of maintenance i have decided to go for the online linear conveyor bottle filling or container filling system so just have you can see over here whatever i talk to you right now the same has been written over here the case study of auto automatic bottle or container filling development of bottle oblique container filling is a task 
either this will be a rotary system as i have mentioned to you or a linear system whether to use a rotary system or linear system that will depend upon two main constraints space and costing you can see over here the same thing i have written over here rotary system require less space but costly linear system requires the more space but it is less costly and we will discuss the linear system which is common cheap and easier to install now after going through the different step as i have already told you i have decided to go for that particular linear online or conveyor bottle filling or that container filling system so this is a cont your conveyor you can see it over here now i am not going to discuss too much into the detail of this particular conveyor system as i already told you for conveyor you will require that particular motor either you can use a stepper motor or you can use a ac or dc motor here i have used a ac motor stepper motor as i already told you is a costly which i don't want the capacity of that particular motor or motor can be designed or selected by considering the weight of this particular empty container the weight of a container when it is completely filled i have made assumption that at a time there will be only one conveyor and when this will be moved forward then the second conveyor will come which method has been adopted which mechanism has been used to bring that empty container or empty bottle on this particular conveyor that is not the part of our mechatronic system right now we are focusing only on the filling station so i have designed this particular motor i have selected that particular revolutions per minute depending upon how much time it takes for the second component or empty second empty container or second empty bottle to come and then i have manufactured this particular conveyor which basically consists a speed reduction either by using that particular belt drive or by gearing system i have used a simple belt drive because speed is not at all that much important and now i am supposed to design the rest of the thing the containers are coming so first thing what we will require is that a something a sensor which senses that particular container is coming now this container is coming and that container will continue to move on this particular conveyor i am using a word purposely container i will let you know the reason behind this afterward bottling i have kept it little bit aside of course the principle of both these things are same only thing is that it is much more easier to design a conveyor shape for that particular container rather than to design it for a bottle bottles are vertical and they tend to topple and hence i have not considered that particular bottle they require a special attention to avoid that toppling and hence you are supposed to design that particular conveyor system more carefully that problem does not arise if you are using a plain container a boxes you might have seen the box of that particular srikhand amul srikhand or say varna srikhand same kind of a container i have used and i am going to fill that particular thing so here there is a photo sensor which will sense this particular thing now there are two ways one the conveyor should start and stop mechanism so you will have to use a stepper motor and second one you use use a ac or dc motor which will run continuously and i am going to use a ac motor why i have not used a stepper motor that i already told you it is very costly and i don't want to spend more cost on this particular thing i have better option a cheap ac motor is available and without stopping this particular conveyor i can assure or i can make sure that every time the 
container will stop without stopping this particular conveyor uh, just below this particular tank through which either a srikhand or a amrakhand or a lassi or a suitable liquid which may be maza based or which may be a lemon based or which may be a plain soda can be filled in this particular bottle or in a container i have already made sure that we are using a container so i have used over here a uh, one more concept unless and until the upper level of the tank indicates that the tank is full the conveyor system will not start at all why this is essential keep it in mind see bottles are coming or containers are coming but the tank is empty it is of no use so first we need to make sure the tank is full and for that a level switch has been provided so this level switch indicates that the tank is full then only the system will run and i have already told you that i don't want to stop this particular conveyor conveyor will continue to run but at the same time i have to stop that particular container so what i am going to do i am going to use just one stopper a pneumatic actuator and its work is or it is used only to stop this particular thing just imagine a few things are coming from the conveyor and if you want to stop that particular things without stopping that particular conveyor what you do you simply put your hands outside or you extend hand outside or you extend one stick outside it will stop that particular component however that particular conveyor will continue to run so that system i have used over here so whenever a photo sensor senses that component or container is coming it will send a signal to this particular actuator actuator will retract forward or will move forward and then the container will stop after the container stops the drain valve will get open depending upon the quantity 500 ml or 1 liter it will remain open either for 30 second or for 60 second that we can adjust it by using a timer and then drain valve will get shut and when drain valve will get shut that signal will go to this particular linear actuator a pneumatic cylinder which will retract as soon as that particular stopper retracts the filled container will move forward how it will be unloaded that is a different thing so this is your front view this is the top view you can see over here this shows the direction of this particular thing i do have the video of this particular system this system has been developed by our students and it is working beautifully so i would like to share the video of the same afterward so that you will have an idea of this particular thing now keep it in mind with a little bit of modification same system can be used for one more purpose identical to this which i would like to discuss with you within a couple of minutes just take a break so with a slight modification the same system can be used or as if you remember i had told you a further scope for improvement we should always consider when we design a mechatronic system so the same system with little bit modification can be used to enhance its performance now suppose there are three color containers say white or say white bottle if it is a white bottle soda will be filled if it is a white container a plain srikhand will be filled second is yellow if it is yellow then amrakhand will be used and if the bottle is yellow a fanta will be filled and if it is a green a lemonade will be filled and if the container is green a pista color srikhand will be filled so amrakhand yellow white plain srikhand and green color 
pista based sriket or it can be a white water soda green water lemonade orange or yellow water fanta one small change i have made i have used here a color sensor instead of a photo sensor the color sensor will detect whether the container or bottle is a white the second one will decide whether it is a green or yellow if it is a green a lemonade will be filled if it is yellow a fanta or that particular amrakhand will be filled so depending upon this particular signal whether the bottle or the container is white whether it is green or whether it is yellow only that signal will open this particular drain valve if the bottle is white soda containers this particular drain valve will get open this is a tank similar to the earlier tank here i do not have a space so i have not shown the upper limit switches or upper level switch sorry not a limit switch upper level switch which indicate that the tank is full if it is the bottle or the container is green a lemonade or that particular pista base second will tanks drain valve will get open if it is a yellow either the bottle is yellow or the container is yellow if the bottle is yellow this third tanks drain valve will get open fanta will come over here or if it is a yellow container armor hand will come stopping mechanism which i have used over here is invariably this particular linear actuator identical to the one which we have used in earlier now why do i prefer this particular system cost is the only case where which i have considered to avoid the use of that particular stepper motor no cost is a major concept or major criteria but there is one more thing if i use that particular stepper motor if suppose there is a fluctuation in the power the motor moves forward stop moves forward stop but sometime due to that fluctuation in the power this particular container some will sometime will stop over here sometime will move forward sometime will go more backward and because of that you will not be able to feel this particular thing so instead of using a stepper motor i have used a ac motor which runs continuously and i have made sure where this particular thing will stop and then i have installed this particular position so keep it in mind you do not fix the position of the tanks and this particular drain valve first first you decide where you are going to stop this particular container and accordingly you position that drain valve so that the liquid will fall exactly into the container and once the container is filled the drain valve will get closed that signal will go to this actuator it will come back or it will retract and this filled container will move forward either they will be pick up manually or by robotic arm or some other system is used where it can be pushed to the other conveyor for a packing purpose or so many other things can be done packing is also possible here also if you lengthen this particular thing but that is not the scope or that is not the case which we want to discuss we want to discuss it only up to filling station so this is regarding this particular thing now if you remember correctly i did talk about you about the rotary system and i have told you why rotary system i have ordered one it is a costly it is complicated and maintenance is difficult why it is costly see so this is a one circular disc and it has four slots 1 2 3 and 4 and this particular disc is indexing here then like this like this like this so it doesn't rotate continuously it rotate to 90 degrees stop for a few time or few minute again rotate to 90 degrees again rotate to 90 degrees after regular interval of a time either of a 1 minute 1.5 minute 2 minute that we can decide and here empty bottles are to come so you require conveyor so through conveyor the empty bottle will come once it goes into this slot then this will index here at the second station this is your first station bottles will be arrived at the second station 
filling will be carried out again it will get indexed so this will move to the next station here capping will be carried out and then again it will index after a certain period of time that time we can decide it and it will be a regular interval of 1.5 minute or 2 minute or 3 minute depending upon how much time is required for this particular filling and then here that particular filled bottle will move through this particular conveyor so you require two conveyor one over here one over here and keep it in mind here by the time the parts or that particular empty container or that particular bottles are coming you have started detecting and you have started that particular peeling so you do not require two separate conveyor the time for moving this particular bottle over here over here they are same more time will be wasted in indexing this particular thing and hence i have made or i have used this concept and i have developed the same so this is regarding this particular thing i will share you the video of that particular art, uh, automatic bottling plant as i already told you instead of a bottling i have used it a container filling plant because it is much more difficult to design that particular conveyor which ensures that the bottle will not topple so due to the lack of time which is available time constraints financial problems and instead of wasting a time for that designing in that particular build which can make sure that the bottles will not topple i use a simple conveyor system and hence i use that particular container video of the same i will share with you immediately after this so let's stop over here so this completes the case study of one that of a manipulator or pick and place robot and other one is of a bottling plant or that particular uh, instead of a bottling plant you can call it as a container filling station also automatic doesn't make any difference at all so this is regarding the case study so this is sufficient as far as the case study is concerned keep it in mind there are so many things so many systems are there not possible to discuss everything but how you should approach in designing establishing a prototype model and all those thing i have already shared to you and description of that same thing is called as that case study and you should be able to draw a simple sketches as i have already shown to you you can show the different component which i have not shown over here the number of inputs number of output the way which i have discussed when we were solving some application problem that also you can include in this particular thing don't include only the programming of this particular system that is not required at all it is not expected at all but the sketches component hardware which you have used in other words the input devices and output devices which you have used that should be there which i have not discussed in this particular thing i have given you the rough idea this is more than sufficient for today uh, we'll stop here today i'm sure you must be trying to go through this particular video lectures which i am uh, sharing with you either through whatsapp some of the videos are also available on our youtube college channel so you can use that facility also and as i already told you if you have any doubts you can call me on my whatsapp number number i would like to share it once again 9881153856 do call me between 9am to 11am in the morning so that i will be able to answer your queries thanks a lot take care stay at home bye